the black carpet worldwide premiere of Man of Steel here in New York City. You know, this, this is crazy. You know, this is, it's Superman. It's so iconographic and so massive. But I think that when we read the script and settled in, and I'm a fan, and I just was like, I got to do this because, you know, it's not going to come around again. And I think we have a chance really to make something awesome. Very simply, the soul of Superman. Finally get to see it in live action. Um, it really, really touches upon that and who the character is and why he is. When you know Zach, you understand that he's going to make something special. And I thought I would just, I thought I would just go for the ride. It is very much a, you know, action, adventure, fantasy movie, but at the same time, it's also really small, really intimate, and built on relationships. So I think he's an unabashed hero. You know, there are so many other heroes that we have that are anti-heroes or they're really dark, but, you know, everything about Superman kind of represents America and all that's good about it. You know, so almost three years, really, uh, it's taken to uh, bring this to the screen because uh, the, the shooting of it and the making of it was so complicated. The characters are so rich and dimensional. And we get to see a side of Superman that we haven't really seen before, kind of his struggle. And I think it humanizes him and makes him more relatable to an audience. And I think that that's what everyone really gravitated towards. Zach really wanted to create something new. His whole approach was like, let's pretend like nobody's ever done this before. I would say the hardest part of playing Lois is just making sure you're playing her in a way that's fresh and exciting, but at the same time, pays homage to what the fans want to see. And nothing but pure joy. As close to a dream job as you can get. I wasn't quite aware that people were so into it, you know? I was quite fascinated by it. I think part of my decision to do it was because I've got a six-year-old and nine-year-old. Mm -hmm. The moment I sat down with Zach and I said to him, just tell me the story, tell me what the movie you're making. And he started talking and I started hearing things in my head because it, it is his movie. I think there's, uh, there are many levels to it. I think mostly the fact that he is a moral compass for all of us. He's all made of good, yet he's very human. I mean, we had a lot of fun, obviously, but um, to shoot fight scenes like that, it's, 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 sometimes it can be complicated because you actually you have to care for every detail. Superman's from Krypton, he's invulnerable. It's hard to make him human. So we tried to give him emotional vulnerabilities. I knew of the character and I, I thought he was cool. Um, and now, definitely more so. I really got into the comic books for my source material research and, um, and loved it. You know, your, your movie and, and you try and make it you know, the best you can. And it is, it is fun when, when, when the premiere comes because you, you do get to roll it out and let it just have a life of its own. It's kind of, it's pretty awesome.